Assalamu alaikum my dear friends and students welcome to pix care channel i am anmol and this is css tutorial 7 in this video you will learn how to create a beautiful table in css and how to style any html table into a beautiful css layout so let's get started i am here in the visual studio code now adding title how to Style HTML tables in CSS. For styling any table, any simple table in CSS, we need to create a table. First, create a table simple table, and in this table, I am adding table headings for the tag T head, and in the T head. I am creating a table row tr in this tr I am creating table heading ts for each column here is the row number and copy this line and multiply it as you want control c and control v and then full name Father name obtained number and total number so i created table headings for the row let's create table body t body is representing the table body in this i'm going to adding some data of the table headings again creating another table row the second row and in this i am putting the data of this row let's create the row number first one copy this these are the four columns that's why i created another row and four columns now i created the table data for the table heading and in the second column we need to have put full name ahmed ali and for the name nawaz and then obtain number for 600 and then 700 this is for the one one row data of the table heading and now i am copy this row to four times and then change the data Thirty. Now run this program. Simple. Now run this program. Here is our simple table. I am applying the styling on this table. first we need to create an external css file new run file 
new file body parenthesis save it to style sheet dot css connect this style sheet to html program going to head and after the title including including the link rel means relation style sheet then href style sheet dot css type text css close this link now this html is connected to the css applying the css start i am going to apply the styling on the table then i am giving the table a class with the name of table content you can put any class name so it's not necessary to give the name of the class table content okay margin 0 padding 0 font family sans serif now calling the class table content in the table content i am giving the border collapse collapse property then giving the margin 50 pixel overall from four sided and also giving the padding 50 pixel then giving the font size Zero point nine AM. It's the sizes. You can also put the pixel sizes. Then minimum width four hundred pixel. Save it and run the program. Here we are. and now we are adding for the table heading styling here is to again call the class of the table table content and then t head and then in the t head table row in the table row i am giving the background color slate blue then color white giving text align left font weight is bold save it and run so i am giving the table heading the color purple and Font weight. Now next is again calling the class of table table content and then th th is for table heading. Also comma place comma table content. and then td for the table heading and table data i am giving some features that is padding 12 pixel and 15 pixels save it and run here is the table heading and the table data are giving the padding next 
again calling table content t body tr is for table row table row giving the border bottom border bottom 1 pixel solid and purple save it i'm giving now the table body means the rows of table body is about border bottom will be the colorful check it control r is for reload so here is are the lines are purple then again calling the class t body tr and then and and this for the number of the rows so and and to type and i am giving the type of e1 means two for eight the rows will gives the color background color light gray f3 f3 and f3 this is the code of the color of gray save it reload it so the even table rows will be the colorful means the background color will be changed then dot table content t body and table body the last or oh, last of type border bottom I am giving the last last of type border bottom this one the last one purple line or a border so border bottom will be black so giving the two pixel solid black save it and then reload is so here i am then row table content t body tr and then end child and child even I am giving the color purple again or so here here I am putting the color to the table body and the row the rows that is even in number reload this and here I am the selected rows will be colorful next I am putting table content and tr the active one so dot active the row that will be active give the font font weight board and then color black or whatever you want and I am giving the active class to this one day calling making the class of active save it and then run second row 
is bold it means this is active second row is active i am giving some of the border radius Five pixel, five pixel, and then five pixel, and then overflow. Then save it. Check the border radius, so it's working. Giving the box shadow. Box shadow zero. Zero and then twenty pixel RGBA. I'm giving the color zero, 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 and then zero point one, the alpha value. Save it and then done. Here is the box shadow. So I created the table as a professional and style the HTML simple table to the beautiful and the professional table in CSS if you want to work with the responsiveness so you can see it's responsive and also I am including the viewport what is viewport we will work on the responsive websites also so I am giving this matter matter is for the information and any content and here is the name view port then giving the content width width so equal to device device width comma and then initial scale equal to point 0.1 and then close it it will help to view the port or if you want to get the 100 pixels means 100% of the device and the mobile face it will give the responsiveness so i hope you will like this video and if you like please subscribe and click the like button also and share this video to your friends and also comment below thanks a lot please take care thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe click the bell icon for latest updates